daily commuting hassles, difficulty in accessing office buildings or educational institutions, lack of accessible toilets or lack of study materials in Braille. These are all the reasons for people with disabilities opting out of opportunities that should be equally available to them. As the only visually impaired student in her school, Tiffany Barar felt isolated and faced discrimination. Later, she founded Jyotir Gamaya Foundation, a mobile school for blind students in Trivandrum. The infrastructure was so bad, the toilets used to be dirty, so we used to, I mean, step here, step there. No one used to actually show us anything and all that. So those kind of things were very difficult. According to a 2019 UNESCO report, there are about 78 lakh children with disability in India. The school dropout rate for children with disability is as high as 12% and as many as 27% have never been enrolled in any educational institution. Why? Because there are no accessible school buildings to start with. I mean, there's no one example. I think there are, there are hundreds and hundreds and thousands of examples like that. The moment people see that your child has a disability, you are denied admission. And when you are not educated, where do you get a job, how do you be a part of the mainstream society, you, you continue to remain invisible. And in both, whether it is education or employment or, or a family or a community life, the core right is accessibility. And accessibility does not mean just a ramp. For disability rights advocate Nipun Malhotra, a simple thing like using the toilet between meetings would turn into a two-hour drive as none of the meeting venues had disabled friendly toilets, forcing him to return to his own home each time. Today he runs the Nipman Foundation that offers accessibility solutions to persons with disabilities. But he got there the hard way. These things kept happening and I think what I noticed is that whenever I was entering any job interview, my identity as a wheelchair user superseded my identity as Nipun Malhotra or Nipun Malhotra who has done these degrees or Nipun Malhotra who has excelled in extracurricular activities as well. It was just my wheelchair that was being looked at. What harm does it make if, if, if I am a corporate, if I want to hire disabled people and if people with disability can come and do the job for me, they are adding to my revenue. They are not just coming and killing the time and I have to pay their salary. They come and, and they are adding to my revenue, to my profit. What stops you from doing that? Global data suggests that people with disabilities, if included, can contribute 3 to 7 percent to the GDP and play a crucial role in our economy. The question is, can a country move towards development if it overlooks this valuable workforce and their unique perspectives?